Video and stuff. Hello. Hello, hello. Right. The the other changes around here. Oh, I, I need some things. Right. So we'll go for you know some of the changes, but and I expect you've seen some of the others, but don't know what they do. So I'm just getting the auto crafting to make some books. So there are a couple of ways we can make books. One of them's with wood. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm hoping I will get a tree farm up sometime this week. But I need to show. I need some books to show. You how if you look in this out. panel, you can see everything I've set up to auto craft. By the way, I know I've added a couple. I know that's set to craft mode. Or I could just press the qu stored craftable button here. Yeah, but no, you don't have to change your panel. There's just that one set up. Yeah. Well, the only thing is, I like to you. I like to have to be able to get items for that when I'm setting patterns up. So there is an annoyance I have with that at the moment, but Ooh. that's because of the AET version. So first thing is this here. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, there's already eight in there. Somewhere between the one sixteenth and one eighth chance, I don't know. Works. You put some books in there, and it does this fancy particles. Of floating books around it, and it generates these knowledge fragments. Okay. So there's a few uses of the knowledge fragments. One of which is if you right click it. Okay, I got things. Lots of aspects for research. Yeah, a lot faster than this or the whisper weeds. There's two whisper weeds down there, by the way, now. Nice. Okay. Right, so it's still not fast because, and as I say, it's only one in eight books will give you one of these. You can also use knowledge fragments um, to get research notes and stuff. Could um, you put a hopper above this? Them. I don't think so. So that's the other thing I was about to say was, this is a multi-block structure. It specifies to have air, uh, this one, this one, and the level above in that in that three by three that's marked out on the floor. You want to try it? Okay. It stopped processing. Yeah, it's given up. Processing. Okay. And that's what I thought it would do. So we'd I have to have like... some way of transporting items over a I've distance. Got... No. Uh, well, yeah, I've, I've got a way. What I could do is I could set up a golem to fill it with books and have a somewhere else, a chest that gives books. Oh, yeah, that would work. So the golem runs backs and forwards and puts books in there. Right, that would so work out beautifully. Say, yeah, but I don't have a steady enough supply of books at the moment anyway, so I'm worrying about it. The next thing is this. So, a couple of things. One, we were heating the crucible, which is still on the bottom. Mm -hmm. We were heating that with lava. Right. Well, you can actually heat it with... Hello, nitro. Magic Phoenix! And if you heat it with nitro, you don't get fire all over the place, and it doesn't hurt if you stand on it and such. Ooh, nice. So, it is going good. That's how. But, but the other thing is this thing on top. So the way this thing on top works is great. Okay. So let's do it with. So let's make. Yeah, let's do that one. Uh. I wonder what you one is doing. So if we get some glowstone. Uh. Basically, I just need one something. So this is for the alchemy, same alchemy recipes. So I'm just going to do glowstone to nitro. So we put glowstone in this top bit. See that? Mm -hmm. And if you click on, you've got arrows on the right to choose which recipe you want. And then if you click it, you click, right? So you've registered it to make that recipe with the glowstone that's in there. And now, and now you have to feed the types. required stuff into the other pipes. Yeah, so I just put that under there. Um, this is also set up for the golems, so if you want to refill the jars, so yeah, I just put three jars in. So what, what are the other two? Potentia and Ignis. Uh, Potentia. 
Stop finding the jars now. Where is that? Oh, that's it. there it is. Mainly on one. Yes. Okay. And and yeah, it will just it will make as many as it can. There it goes, and then it just kicks it out the front and into that chest. Oh, cool! Right, nice. And you you right click to unset the recipe. Um, you can only hold at the moment. You can only hold one recipe at once. You, I can upgrade that, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't think that's too big of a deal at this point. Uh, the reason you would do it is if you actually have a system to pipe all the essential in ready and automatically. Yeah, might want to set them up automatically. Cause, which I think. You know what would be awesome, and I know people have done this before. Auto crafting that with the fluid uh, addition to Planet Energistics. Yes. Yes, you can do that. I don't think we have that here. But yeah, uh, I know people have done it. I I haven't. Yeah, I think no. Right. So. Uh, so yeah, no, we don't have my, it. I showed you a screenshot of my farm here. So this is my automatic leather and wool farm that will give you wool. Um, we have a fluid P two P tunnel. Yeah, but none of the other fluid, components. Not essentia. No, that's not. That's fluids, not essentia. Ah, okay. That would be the same as. Yeah. Oops. Anyway. No, it's a special fluid as well. It's not ordinary fluid. It's its own mod same fluid. So, yeah, I've got this little farm. So, the lamp of fertility makes them thing. And the golem here. And the golem has a few upgrades on it. Notice his stone fist. So he does more damage, so he doesn't have to hit so often to kill them. Okay. Um, Iron Fist, sorry. Got a big mallet <laughs> he hits with. So yeah, he'll go and kill automatically when there's at least another adult. There are at least three adults, adults, basically. Yeah. He will cool. always keep two of each. And then there's just obviously a hot pot to pick it up, type of thing. I guess overall, that's just as efficient as having multiple if you're doing it constantly. So underneath here, I have made a little change. I need to destabilize the thing a bit more, so... Just put a bunch of... Uh... Candles. Candles. Yeah, yeah. it goes down. There are certain things that we don't want in this area. If they're not symmetrical, they have to be symmetrical and stuff. Well, they are. Okay. Okay. Um... And it's a twelve. It's a twelve by twelve area above as well. There, there's certain other things I can do. Yeah. Well, this row is just going to be another one of these guys, so we don't have to worry about that. I was going to make this yeah. wall, this, and then possibly this row another one of the Assuming machines. You, yeah, you can walk. You can walk through the candles. So there's that. Right. And I can have an. And there will be enough room for another layer if I want to make another layer. Maybe. Right. So that works. Okay, so what else was there? I thought of, there, there is more. I know there's more up there around the thing. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think that's it down here. Down. So to the blood magic teleporter. Stay. Yep. So, a couple of things. First one. Is I've altered this a little bit. What just happened? Something died? Just then. Something died and we just got blasted. Yeah. Um, so, this is where you can't bring. So, the thing is, your chest counts as an entity and will die up here if you're mm -hmm. up here. And then you lose your chest. Because <laughs> it's not a player. So, what we've got here. Well, I'm sure you can see what it is. It's just a gas spawner. Um, so do you actually have a spawner in a dolly somewhere? Because we should have had multiple of those from a quest. I don't think so. Hmm. Nope. So I put the... Huh. I put the gassed one in there. 
because that, but that's the only one I could find. I was like, I would like whatever other ones. Because gas isn't the best either. So I'm using a, what's called a sanguinancy ritual rather than the well of suffering underneath this. Okay. For a couple of reasons. One is it instantly kills the mob. It doesn't just do a heart of damage each time and keep slowly killing it. Okay. Um, but the other thing is, is I want to do some corrupted infusion. And that means I need to build up my soul corruption. I've made the bits other than that. Um, so well, I need more. And but the thing is, Every time I have to make that ritual, it, it puts some in, but it only puts me in one point and I need like a hundred. So I was like, and it takes about 50 LP, 50,000 LP to activate the ritual. Okay. So I'm thinking we, so I'm thinking we do, a, we try something else. So there's another way of me getting um, corruption for my soul. I, and where are you at the moment? That, that I came down to look for spawners. Hi. Ah, okay. There's another way of me getting corruption for my soul. And okay. that is to steal and that is to steal LP from someone else's network. Okay. So I'm going to so my big plan for today, biggest plan, is to make you uh make up the stuff to do that. Make you a master blood orb. Uh so you can quit start quit adding your own LP and you build up some LP. In a network, and then I go and steal a load of that for the end of the. Yeah, I don't thing. think I have anything in my network because everything I have is tied to no. yours. No. Yeah, everything is tied to mine. I know it is. I would have to. I'm going to skip you straight to master. But the other thing is, is up here. Mm hmm. Is Ooh, a new a altar. List. Right. So this is for summoning some demons. Okay. And by summoning a particular demon, uh, well, one of the elemental demons, I can get it to drop what's called a demon shard. With demon shards, we can actually get to the next level of altar. Okay. Okay. So I got basically I have to put a master blood orb in the center and some thing things on the it only has to be the inner sex in that particular one. Different summonings do different things. So I need to do some alchemy to make up the things I need for this. Um but I've got it ready other than that. Okay. Um. Apparently, they're a little bit of a pain to kill, but if you want to kill one, get the thing. So yeah. So, yeah, that's um. Yeah, everything I've been doing off stream quite a bit. I will say, <laughs> any Thorncraft research I've done, I have created scrolls for you. Oh, oh, I upgraded this chest so I can fit all the scrolls in. Uh, which chest? Okay. I think that's that's your ones because okay. the, this lot is Heek's ones. Uh, just a warning: some of those do give permanent warp, so uh, you might permanent have warp. Yeah. Okay. As there might be a couple there you can't do because they require Aldrich knowledge at the moment. Kill the warp. Until you warps high enough and an event happens, which is random. Mine's happened finally. Because they just get out. I have gained permanent warp. Be... Yeah. There's a way of getting rid of war temporary warp easily, but permanent warp is there. I wonder if my warp level's still full. <laughs> so, what? Uh... Yeah, okay. That's what I thought it was. Oh, there's one in here to. Uh, oh, I've got to duplicate. Okay, what do I need to do? Uh, 
That's a question. Could you actually come here a moment? See if you can duplicate this one, please. With me doing all the research, it's duplicating takes quite a bit. Uh, I need some paper and ink stamps. But... Yeah. You. I just need paper, paper and ink sacks, but I think yeah. I have all the aspects. Yep. You have it enough for do it twice. The second time will require one more of each aspect. Because I am still making. I think I'm going to stop doing that, making enough that if he did come back, because I don't think he will. I got. Uh, you, you've got paper and ink sacks now, have you? Yeah. I do. I just pulled, finished pulling out enough, but I, I will. Oh, hold on. I'm actually low on Aurum. Okay, you probably can make some there, can't you? The shift clicking up. Of course, uh, G's up. Ta -ta -ta -ta. I'm slowly building up my stock again, but it's some of these I am quite low on now. I could play do that one more. There we go. I check one out. I can duplicate it a second time. Is it in the other chest or not? That's in Ghetto Mansi. This one. Oh, that's cool. Quite an easy recipe, actually. Relative, uh, it's going to require. Oh, it. It requires the same. It depends on what the essence is here. Oh, okay. That makes life a little bit more awkward. And that would give you different ones. There we go. Right. So yeah, we can make floating wisps for us, but okay. Yeah, I'm slowly getting more and more done in here. So I've got one in Heek's chest. One's for me, and one's for you. I already, I already took mine out. You do okay. an extra. Got it. I'd already taken one. Oh, I took mine out whilst the, the first bit got so I think it's Right, so. I'm going up to the blood magic area. I'm going to bleed myself a bit. So, the thing is, I have also changed the sacrifice runes on the blood magic altar to get more out of the ghast. Okay. But I don't have enough runes there, really, to. Yeah, I guess I have very, very little health. There's that, and there's also the. Re it's more. I've only got, what is that, 16 sacrifice, means of sacrifice in this, because that is all the other things. Now we're going to need about 40,000, I think it is, for this recipe. How much do I have in there? I'm at 27,000, just from me doing some stuff to myself. Oh, that was the other thing I haven't shown you. I think there was something else. That's back down the bottom. So. Mov. Yes. This wasn't going to work quite like this when I first built it, so we might be moving parts of this. If you come to the Botania area, there's some more stuff here. Okay. So in this top chest, you put bo bottles of enchanting. Okay. And we turn the lever off, and they fall down, and the thing empties them. Okay. Empties them. 
now the idea was it would descend him into the flowers. Unfortunately, the things grab him ma- um, XP automatically. Um, didn't exist in this version of Britannia. I have to go and check on that. I was like, I'm sure this works. Oh, uh, not in this version. Ugh. It would be less efficient if it did, but anyway. So, so now we have to turn it off. We have to stand here. And then, well, if you shift right click the thing, you get the whole lot out in one go. Okay. Okay. There's a way of getting a lot of XP rather quickly to run the Razor Arcanas. You just have to stand here and empty it into them, but you know. Okay. And yeah, it's three Whisper re- Reads I've made now. So if I turn that on, it doesn't really take very long before they start going ping, ping, ping. There's all three are doing that. Nice. The random tick. No, it's long with two of us of stood uh, apparently. <laughs> I mean that's fair enough. It has to work on two more people. So yeah, this also gets us lots of glass bottles. So if you need glass bottles, just grab them like this. Okay. This is full already. Here's your glass bottles back. <laughs> As I say just there's a drawer here with them in. If you need them, just pull them out of the drawer. <laughs> So the other thing is this brain in a jar mm-hmm. only stores only stores about forty levels. It's two thousand okay. XP. Then it they will stop collecting it. So that's why I don't just leave it running the dropper. Why it's not full. Because eventually the kind XP of... orbs will just build up. Yeah. And then they despawn and then it's just waste. Okay. So yeah, you do. Ha- Unfortunately, it's not as automated as I was hoping because I was hoping they would just get picked up by the Razor Arcanas and we get mana all the time. It Sadly, it's not quite that nice. No, it did, didn't quite work out that way. Uh, I just went from 10 levels generation. to 17 levels. Interesting. That's probably because you picked up some from the jar when I clipped it, because it, it outputs the orbs for you to pick up. That works. Okay, here we go. And, oh, the other thing is, if you stand on, if you're actually on the Amnesia Stone, if you stand on that, you'll also, it drains you. Okay. It doesn't just drain bottles, so if you stand too close, Yours will start going down and not being picked up other than by the jar. Jars okay, so that's basically up. just like a little XP storage up to a certain amount. Yeah. There's another Anesiot stone under this one up here. So. So. Yeah, it's not it's not all that fun. Yeah, the jar is just XP storage. The stone just adds a whole load of extra features to the jar. Okay. One of which is if you uh, the stone on its own does things as well. So if you drop an enchanting mana bottle on the stone on its own, it, out, it drops the mana. And if you stand on the stone on its own, it drops your mana. If the jar is on the stone, it means you can shift right-click the jar with an empty hand and get all the mana out in one go. Okay, got which it. Is different, which is otherwise you're right-clicking for little bits. You're planning on just changing the power. You're just changing the power line. Oh, that, that's another couple of things I changed. Oh, yeah. I told you I added. No, we didn't have this connected to anything anymore. I'm just removing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm removing it all the way one... back to our main uh, thing because it's not doing anything anymore. Oh, it's the one up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. Now I always hated that he put it there, regen. so I'm just going to remove it since we don't need it anymore. Now I have has fully regenerated. Should be able to get enough to do this. And that should give you an orb. Oh, 
that goes. Do you want to take your new wall? That one's for you. And it's mine! Aha! Yes, but we're going to bleed you into that in a minute. <laughs> I will need a um. I got a I got a razor thing. You want no, the what's it called? Divination sigil. Oh yeah, I've got that on me. That doesn't really matter. That stores a million. Is we're not going to be close to that at the moment. Can you just put it in the altar? That's more. F the altar is always more efficient, even with the other runes attached. So if you right-click that knife, it will take up about three hearts. Uh, tip. So you can right-click and hold it. Go into your orb. So yeah, I'll make you a division seed in a minute. Yeah, easy enough done. It would be if I had any blank slates. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right, uh, it's one of those. This is why I plan to upgrade the altar so I can get more runes on it, basically. I just don't want you stealing enough blood to kill me. Actually, Will, does that work for you? No, I have yours and it uh, It tells me that y it's yours. Yeah, okay. Do you want to pass it back? I, I have to go down the bottom to get some. Unless you happen to have a living rock on you. I do not. I have cracked sand. Can you make living rock from that? No. Sadness. I think there's some glass up there, but I'll bring some glass as well. I want to make a few out of these actually, thinking of that. Some other things to use divination sigils for. Sort of an upgraded variant of them. They do other things, sort of, but. Okay, so I'm uh, just a moment. I just want to. <laughs> oh, ah, bless me. It's only a thousand. That's for the seed, Joe. That's all. Oh. So, Muff? Yep. Sigil. Right. 8,000, Now, I believe when I did the stealing, it was still all yours. However, okay. however, you won't die from me just stealing it, I don't believe. But Ready I, to find out? The more you have... The more you have, not quite, the more you have, I think, the more I get, I think. I, I think that's how stealing works, you. Well, you, no, the more corruption <laughs> I get is what I mean. Yeah, not just. The more you have, the more I get. That's kind of how stealing works. <laughs> no, I, I meant the more corruption. It's corruption I specifically want. I've got a thing that tells me I'm on six corruption currently. Right, where's my book that tells me how to do this? Here we go. You have a book on stealing? Sacrifice magics. I need to get an energy player sacrificing stone, then imbue it in a blood alt in a tier five blood altar. You're quite an attuned player sacrificing stone. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. So I'm not sure this. Can I make the book thing that tells me? One 
115,000. 115,000. Not bad. I'm at 262,000, so, currently. But I used a whole load of it. And every time you use the portals, you're using some of mine as well, aren't you? Yep. Uh, well, I want... Where, where am I? I? Why are you asking where you are? Because I died, and I'm just on a cliff! Oh. Oh, uh, are you up at Wolvespawn? Maybe? The other side of the blood magic area to the base. I don't think I slept in the bed again. Yeah, that's possibly the problem. <laughs> I <laughs> I'm confused as to why it put me on like the absolute edge of the cliff. I gotta figure out how to get around this now. Yeah, but I think I oh, know whereabouts. Seeing new or name tags, but I'm also not seeing everything render properly. Yeah, that's one of the things I like about Blood Magic, is no matter how powerful you are with other mods, your blood is worth the same. So, you can just end up just straight dying, suddenly, and you're without all of the powers from the other mods you have. Yeah, well, it does basically a slash kill at that point, doesn't it? <laughs> right. And then, unless the other mods say... have, like, soulbound and stuff. You say that, I got, um... There are some things like my, the fact I've got I've got what, thirteen extra hearts currently. Yeah, like that stays, but like I don't have well, I can't jump up two blocks just... anymore. I don't have any of my tools. I don't have my armor. I'm just suddenly dead. Yeah, not not only does what I just suggested stay, but because I've got extras, I can bleed myself more as well. You know? mm Hmm. It is done off your hit, hit points, so if you've got something that's giving you more hit points, you can do more. Right. So it's not entirely... Yeah, eventually you still run out. It doesn't take long. Not with that knife, anyway. That knife's out, and that knife you were using is a Thorncraft add-on knife. To be able to do damage to yourself that quickly, by the way. Yeah. Have you figured out which direction to go in? Um, no, I'm just trying to get away from the ocean at this point. But I'm basically having to scale a vertical wall. Yeah, and if I knew where, I would could come to you. I can't be far away, can I? Oh, I see your name tag. Over here. Ah, okay. You're not actually all that far from base. I didn't think I was. This is sort of what I thought was. I thought was was sort of across the other side a little bit. Can you come up to where I am? Trying. Oh, you're there. Okay, give me a minute. Get some blocks from there. Yeah, I didn't really have a plan after this point. Kind of ran out of dirt. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do you have a pickaxe? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, Adiana, I was just switching tools, by the way. Cool. 
I was basically just mining dirt out of the walls and using that to scale, but I kind of ran out of dirt at the end. I think this way is the easier way out, but I'll pick you up. <laughs> Keep in mind, I literally can't run. Oh, yay! What was oh, that noise? That. Something is behind you. Surely there must be a way to stop these headaches. I don't see anything behind me, so I'm going to ignore it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what. It is. Uh, down here. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are actually things that can attack you in warp. It can go misty, and there are and a little bit of a pain. Okay, well, not misty right now, so. Oh, my stuff is they, up here. They, they, they managed to kill me once. Being your... Yay! Bad. Right, so back to where I was in the middle of when you got lost. Oh, that's the rest of with the beacons. Okay. I can go to tier 5 then. That's just reading some beacons. Alright. Wait, maybe. Yeah. So this is tier 4. I need to make this a tier 5. So we can actually go all the way to tier 6 on this. Uh, that's actually going to be down one. Uh, yeah, no, that's okay, because the bottom layer will be level with us. That's fine. Okay, so tier 5. I think it's out 2 where that goes in. So, uh, it did it again. <laughs> Not on the cliff this time. You know roughly where to go this time. I hope. I hear you. There we go. Hi. Yeah, not in as bad of a situation as last time. Last time I literally spawned on the edge of that, like, vertical cliff. Okay, so there's room for... Oh. Okay. But I need some beacons. They don't actually have to be active, I don't believe. I'm going to need to go and kill for... Um... Withers. Planning nether stars. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. That's a point. What's up? I can ward blocks with Thorncraft, can't I? Mm hmm. So you could make a wither cage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The it is kind of one of the warding. ideas behind warding blocks, is you can use them to block off withers. Yep. In fact, I can make a wither cage out of wood if I fairly. You can make a wither cage out of dirt or glass. Yeah, I mean, we can do some fancy things with this. Yeah, gla I believe glass works, but... So, mm. so, the first question is, do I have the warding research done? So, I mean, you can... 
if you don't want to stand up there collecting more blood, I think you've probably got enough for the time being for me to steal. 166,000. Yeah, but I mean, you can, if you want to still be doing some auto crafting while you build up here. Yeah, I'm just going to grab a pop Finish. real quick. Okay. Oh. It's just, uh, I do. That's the pave, paving stone warding. Let's see if I can remember where I was with this. One focus frost. What will hold shut equal trade? Excavation. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the warding one focus is because that's what I really want to do, isn't it? Okay, I see. Oh, I fallen. Oh, did you see I added a ladder at the end of this, by the way? Yeah. I, I was working on this when I was half asleep, so I kept falling. I was like, oh my gosh, and I have to walk all the way back down here. I walk up here and just yep. do this. Oh my gosh, now I gotta walk all the way back down there. I just started getting so frustrated. Oh. And also, uh, come down here for a second. I'll just let you know, I did fall off it once myself. Yeah, I saw you fall off it once, but I did it like 30 times before I finally brought a ladder down. I saw well, no, no, I saw it with the ladder, so I went and the ladder myself. Oh, you've got uh, hidden terminals. Yep, because I kept needing to bring stuff down to craft here. Yeah. So I also noticed you've got 64k set, set up in the system ready. Yes, because we were getting too complicated for the 1k drive. Yeah, I we would be. In fact, I plan to. I'm surprised. I wouldn't. Sixty four K was easy. These... I already had the drive. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna say I wouldn't have these here, so you can actually have because you can put multiple sixty four Ks on. Yeah. And multiple car processing units. It's just with them here, you can't do much. That's all I'm thinking. But yeah. Hmm. I mean, there are other crafting things that can fit in those slots. Um, okay. Let's so we look. could move those just fine. Yeah, I'm thinking we actually set up some crafting CPUs elsewhere, some be nice big ones when we get there. But as I say, uh, power you wanted to look at, didn't you? Hmm? So I know me Mechanism has some with more fancy power forms than you've done. So I know Mechanism has windmills and stuff. And solar generators, heat generator, gas burning. There's the bio, but you've also got this rotational complex, industrial turbine, connects to electromagnetic coils, turbine casings, reactor frames, laser focus. I'm pretty sure you can do some. Really fancy, really high power stuff with mechanism. So, yeah, wind is the recommended option. Okay. It's basically just make a lot of the windmills. But why can I not find the crushing factory in JEI? Any eye. Uh, because it's an upgrade, it's the crusher. The mechanism crusher. 
and then it's upgraded um several tiers and you can have there are a couple of ways of upgrading but they're all part of the crusher recipes if you right click the crusher you'll get them um but the other thing you can do is use the upgrade the elite or whatever upgrade to make it whatever level factory you want in one go no i just have the one recipe for the crusher right click it yeah right your basic smelting basic enrichment advanced question factory that's one of the question ones if I right click it, I can turn the crusher into the crushing factory, but it doesn't show up in JEI. Yes, yes it only show in the base model. Bottom model. Okay. The way I would upgrade the way I would upgrade, this is what I was trying to tell you. Okay. Is the way we were upgrading is to use the tier installers. They're called. And they're all in there. Basic, Advanced, Elite, and Ultimate. Okay, got it. So if you put the Ultimate Tier Installer, then you'll get the Ultimate Factory thing. That's the top level one. Yeah, and it's just the way it worked on old versions. Right. Well, what I suggest we do is you set up to make the wind generator, which needs reinforced alloys and elite control circuits, some sheets of titanium, and some sheets of aluminium. But I wanted to also look up reactor. Yes, and that's what I thought. So we've actually got all the stuff we need. It's all ultimate level. We'd have to be able to make the ultimate control circuit and stuff. But you can set all that up. If you actually want to do the auto crafting for it and set it huh? up, we make the components for the fusion reactor. The fusion reactor. Right, and then we also need an industrial turbine. So the okay. fus the mechanism fusion reactor, I will what I'll do is I'll send the I Well, I sent you the link to the fusion reactor, and there's also a link in that to the industrial turbine. Okay. Yeah, multi blocks, but that generates a lot of power. I, I can't remember how exactly, how exactly you get the fuel for it and stuff. But there's links there that tell us. Heavy water into the electrolytic separator, probably. So, I suggest some wind turbines for now, but... Then start thinking about getting up so we can actually go. For a fusion reactor into an industrial turbine to generate lots and lots and lots and lots of power. Okay. I'm going to go through and try and get some of the components craftable. Uh, so wind yeah, turbine... that's what I would do. Get, get as many components craftable as you can. Both of them. Start with wind turbines. Set up wind turbines, you want them as high as you can in the air, so... Probably won't do that. It might actually yeah, be a good idea there. to set it up where he had it set up. I'm thinking <laughs> even higher. But over I in that direction. The, I mean, this this is the mechanism we're here. That's a wind turbine. 
spin generator. There, they changed something about. By default, minimum is 24, maximum is 255. As of mechanism 9, elevation is calculated by the top of the turbine. Power output scales linearly according to Y. And if it's too high, it'll produce maximum. Okay. So yeah, world height. Place the bottom block, which is the block you actually place of the turbine, uh, within a few... Well, you can go down a couple... How, how many blocks tall is it? Five. So up to five blocks down from world height, and you'll get maximum. Basically, you want the top of the wind turbine to be at world height. Okay, got it. The, 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 the. Yeah, the top block of the turbine. As of mechanism nine. Let me just check what mechanism version they're on. Nine point one. Okay. There you go. So that I yeah, you probably want to make several of these so you have a farm of them. So twenty way y plus one hundred and eighty divided by eleven. So, yeah, looks like. Uh, each one will give 480 RF a tick. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm to world height. As each of these are what, 280? Not quite double, but a wind turbine. That's not too bad, being that they're also passive. You don't have to worry about fuel for them. Now, is that okay. daytime and nighttime? Or does it vary? And is it constant? It's constant all day. Okay. All night. It is just that is the amount of power. You, yeah, the power. The only thing that affects the power of them is what height they're placed at. Hmm. So that was that world height. That's the maximum they can give. Did you notice anything different about this golem, by the way? What golem? This one. I don't know where you are. By the alchemical furnace. I never looked at furnace. him. <laughs> so, oh, if I had noticed, I wouldn't have had the chance. Uh, come take a look at him sometime. I've actually got a couple of golems. Uh... Okay. Right, so what I was trying to do is work out where warding was in this book. It would be nice if you could use enchanted paper or something instead of needing squaring tools all the time and paper. That said, I've got paper on autocraft now. Squaring tools. I'll ask the other thing is the squaring tools that are in the table will take out my blood network, by the way. Huh? Yeah. The scribing tools that are in the table uh -huh. never run out. Instead, they take out my blood network. Got it. On the changes that got made. I 
actually, let's do it the other way around. I can't do it the other way around. I could have done it with that. We can now watercraft chipsets. I've got another research now, huh? No, that didn't open up anything. Grab that one in a moment. I put it in your chest again, by the way. Okay. The only question I have is what happens when we want to auto craft something that's not one of these chipsets? Hmm? And oh. Oh yeah, it all needs to be set up. Sorry. And the redstone chipset, it doesn't seem to be set enough. Yeah, I need to tell it to do one of those chips up. Uh, the redstone chips up. That's how little it'll end up being. Is uh, we just need to send the item in here. Oh, thank you. It imported it. But that's an issue. Uh, we'll probably need to put a whitelist on the import bus. Or, or have the import bus on the bottom. And the... Or we could put the import bus on the chest. Oh, Does wait, this yeah, automatically it, outputs it, to the chest? It automatically outputs to the chest then now, right? So, yeah. In fact, put the in, in fact, what I would do is put the import bus on the bottom of the chest. Yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. Because now we don't have to bother hold... about moving lasers around. Because I actually had to move this laser because it wasn't going to let that around. Okay, so now it should make two of those and import from over here. Oh. Yeah, I was just putting the... Okay, there we are. That's also, also neater because it's all hidden underneath. So, I mean, we can put a thing there if you want to put mark to the like it's already. There we go. That does the chip sets, but anything else we can do in here, uh, the other recipes, if they're the same recipes. We'll just have to disable it uh, and then craft it, and then it'll import into the system. And the, the other thing is, what happens? Will it do the iron chip set if you do redstone and iron? Because the redstone chip set. I think it'll swap be... between them, actually. We may have to make a separate one for redstone chip sets. So, well, let's try out. I can go and sort of up an iron chipset, shall we? Well, it'll prioritize one, and then it'll swap it back and forth between the ones it has materials for. Yeah, yeah I, I made the I redstone chipset first. But I guarantee if you right. go and do another one, it'll make the iron chipset first. Right, so yeah, we would need to... Hmm. In fact, uh, no, give me a moment. We're after CPUs because you're the one that's running. That's uh, our task. Iron. Nope, it's going to prioritize the redstone chipset again. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, remove and that one from here and make like a cheap slow one. 
Well, it doesn't need to be a cheap, cheap, slow one, does it? We can move these out one, and we can have multiple tables. Oh, we can? Okay. Yeah, because uh, remember, remember that remember that screenshot I sent you a couple of weeks ago? Oh, it just has to be within range. Oh, that works. Yeah, so we, we, we can have multiple assembly tables connected to the lasers. Can you help me mine these lasers? They are very slow. Yeah, when I get my corruption up, I've got a brand new pick I want to try out, right? So yeah, just have another chest, another interface, another importer on the bottom, and another assembly table, and you can set it up with more recipes. So we can have multiple assembly tables and for any, you know, have different ones for different things for, so we don't get any conflicts. We build this up. Okay, sounds good to me. Sometimes the simple solutions are the easy, uh, the easy solutions are the simple ones, aren't they? No, oh, come on, I want the tin gear. And we can also add more lasers. <laughs> I think that's plenty fast considering we're auto crafting it for right now, uh, but we may want to increase it later. My issue before is that I couldn't just I leave them there to. <laughs> I couldn't just leave them there to deal with what I needed later. I ended up having to craft a ton of them at once, and it ended up being a huge bottleneck. That's why I have as many lasers as I do there right now. Actually, we don't need another importer. Uh, it depends. Those chests are going to uh, connect. Oh, in that case, yeah. We wouldn't if they if you're using no yeah the chest you're using that's fine. No, that's part. I was actually considering the chests and stuff. Uh, the other thing I was also consider I was considering is whether the chest blocked the signal. So that's, that was the one I was more worried about was hitting. Okay, there we are. We are now auto crafting. Um... All of the chipsets properly. Yay. Now I'm going to go set up Osmium plates. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this would be easy. This is the easiest I've ever seen. Um, okay. Also, I've been very careful not to cause loops back here. I'm not sure how important that is in AE, but... Uh, less important because it's using a networking system rather than a... Either way, no loops. Yeah. It's much less important by the way AE works. It also... AE also does some... Compared to most piping systems... Um, doing a lot more caching of what the network looks like. The whole system yeah. just turned off. Yeah, not enough power. Hmm. Give me a moment. Give it a moment. What? What did you tell it to craft? That question. It wasn't crafting anything at the time. Yeah. That's fine. There we go. I connected that over there and I connected a roller over there. I did say we were close to the limit, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, something's crafted. Yeah, still crafting this in the crusher. Oh, jeez. That Sorry. was like, that was an hour ago. I did that as soon as we came on. Give me a moment. 
yeah, what we're going to do is I'm taking these out of the Mathlogic Confusers, we're going to put those in now. This is what I mean by we need the energy upgrades and some speed upgrades, but not as many. Lots of energy upgrades and everything. Right, so that will help. I've also got more power going in because my power systems. That can be turned off. Yeah, I'm not actually managing to make enough power to get in there yet. Even with my power. But my power is slower in, that's the thing. So that's the other thing I want to do is that. Do you have your mechanism configurator with you? I do. On the back of the controller. Mm hmm. All the ones going up, so it's just going straight into the. You want to disconnect them so they're not going into the controller. Everything's going through the energy cube at the top, so we can see at least. Doing. Then we get some idea of um, how much is going slow. It's at the moment, very little, but you know. Here, I'm going to give it a kickstart. Yeah, that's basically. I have given it a kickstart and it's drained my system. <laughs> uh, Maybe? The amount of power that. It's going down, happen. but it's not helping. Yeah, I've... I disconnected these because get some power. Our bio generators aren't outputting anything now. Are we what maxing out the that? cable itself? We might be. No, this is... Uh, I'm draining I'm... that, yeah. This is draining slowly. Yeah, that's but... draining, but it's not actually kicking on the AE system. Yeah, uh, we might be... We might need to upgrade that cable. Uh... But also, why the thing, if that doesn't have full power, the generator should be output into that. I just, uh, I set it to output uh, to where we could try and get the system back on and fix the issue. Oh, okay, so you have a... So you yeah, I reversed the, the flow of that because that's not actually backing up our AE system at all. Okay. I'm actually not sure what that's backing up looking at our wiring. Like, that really only okay, seems... If... To be feeding to the lasers. Uh, could you go and... Do you have any redstone on you? Or... Nope. Could you go down to the farms and get some, then? Yeah. I've, I've got the... I'm oh, going to have to use a manual thing. crafting table. Oh, no. Wait, it should be yeah. auto-crafting, oh. right? Yes. The... Well, the redstone blocks were... And yeah, they will be. We can auto craft it down there for them. Luckily, those auto crafters don't need power. <laughs> Where's the infusing factory? There we go. Yeah, just come and put it into this infusing factory that's far main. How much do you need? Uh, four dust, something like that. I grab three the... stacks of blocks. Is that enough? That will be more than enough. I might actually go get some more iron. I'm just trying to get enough to get uh, the system going because I'm, I have these components in now. I know we have some because I auto crafted a lot. I crafted up a load 
um, yesterday. I know I've got iron up here. So the in an ordinary chest. So in that infusing factory, you just yeah, enriched alloy. So it's for every eight of this cable. Let's grab some of this cable. Right, so that's the other thing is you don't actually have the input set for this and the advanced energy cube from the It will be nice when we get this the hammer thing, the auto the disassembler. It's going to be so much easier. So yeah, I'm just I'm doing cable upgrade. Da, 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 da. Mm. Hello, Nessa. Good morning. This goes from 1.28 to 5 hour after day. That said, the... For a stream in a while, yes. You didn't make it to the Sunday one, but this is the first morning stream in a while. Do you have some of that universal cable on you? I don't. I'm trying to figure out how to switch my configurator out of item mode. There's a, is it sh a shift scroll roll? Sneak scroll roll, something like no, that? No, none of that's working. I found item no, no, mode fine. switch, but I'm binding it and nothing happens. Ah, found it. Okay, configurable gases, configurate energy. There we go. <laughs> it is still too early. Uh, that is one of the reasons why I'm excited about Sundays, because it's going to be way later in the day. Yeah, um, it should be like 5 p.m. your time, like 8 o'clock my time. Basically, the time I started streaming on Sunday this week is going to be consistent because my store closes at 6. So the latest I should ever be home is 7.30. Yeah, that's unfortunately not so good for me. Yeah, but, you know, I have to have some balance with the schedule. Can't yeah, fit no, everybody no. every day. Nope. No, I didn't say you. I didn't say that. <laughs> But it works out because I've been doing a lot of morning streams, and I am a morning person, but it's been kind of tiring for me waking up so early each morning. Yeah. So I can kind of sleep in uh, Sunday morning because I don't actually have to leave until 11, 1030. And then, uh, then I get to stay up until like 11 that night, and then I don't generally have to go in until... 9 or 10 the next morning. So, schedule gets to be a little bit more relaxed those couple of days. Hey, we have Ooh. power! <laughs> so we were maxing out the cable. I'm not sure, because... Oh, yeah, uh... Yeah, no, the... So the cable's no better than the advanced energy cube. We need to upgrade the energy cubes as well. Oh, the cable I've just okay. put in, it's just we've there is a lot of power back in that. Um, so let's look I at the cube. 
In fact, I'm having trouble putting stuff in and out still. So we need to look done. at another no, uh, cable to... level. Uh, if I can push this cable all the way up, uh, I need... The thing is, I can only do this in bunch, bunches of eight cable. That's the... So I need some more cable. Uh, I'm going to take out this power line for a little bit. Okay. Keep in mind, we have more cable in the system. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm taking it out for a little bit. I'm going to replace it. I can't grab stuff out of the system properly yet. Don't let me. Ooh. You have one more redstone. I have quite a bit more redstone. Could you put one redstone in the infusion factory, please? There you are. Right, one enriched ally. I can use. So now, can you grab stuff and search in the system? I can. I can insert stuff as well. Ah, that's good news. Can't see my terminal. I'm going to borrow your terminal a moment. Bye, And no, okay, so the chest is not blocking the lasers. So we're good on that. Oh, front. no, I didn't. That, that I didn't mean. If you were to go and say put the assembly table here, mm -hmm. possibly, then yes, the chest would block this laser. Right, I'm connecting that back end then. When the network rebuilds. There it goes. Importing. Right, we got power again at the very least. Okay, I'm going to start building the next energy cube. Yeah, because I'm not actually having enough to fill this up at the moment. That should be charged again, yeah. Uh, what we can do is I can do that. But yeah, if you can upgrade the energy cube to the next level. I don't know if the tear installer works on the energy cube. We can give it a shot. I, I haven't managed to get all the crafting ingredients set up for it yet, though. Yeah, you need the elite tier installer. Yeah, but you've got a better chance now you've got some power. <laughs> yes, definitely a better chance now that we have uh, power. Right, so back to where I was, which was grab this, right click this, one focus warding. Uh, put that back in. I do think that we were maxing out the cable, but now we have to worry about the energy cube. You think we were about to sit out the cable? Let's... I do. There are some things that don't jive with that. That's the only thing. Hmm. 
not impossible, but as I said, the energy cubes um, was the same as this cable. So the energy cube is now... So we were probably maxing out both. The cable is now more than the energy cube, so... So now we're maxing out the energy cube. Possibly. One focus warding. Third. Oh. Put those in your chest, put those in Nick's chest. Okay, I need another nether star even for the warding. Okay. Well, at least that's only one to kill. So I'll go kill a wither. Then I can make that. Is the rolling machine even working now? Yeah. You're getting power. Oh, okay. It charged up just fine. Oh, possibly. You probably did it from my network. I've just disconnected my network. How would I have done it from your network if I put it right on the energy cube? Because, you know that block above? Oh, the block the above is connected cube. to the energy cube, but we don't have a cable connected to the energy cube. We do have a cable, but that was um, draining into the energy cube. It's not anymore. I've just turned it off again. Okay. I used, I, I used that when I need to kickstart the system. That's why that's there. But even that does only give so much power. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go to the nether. And I'm going to kill Wither in the nether. That way it shouldn't affect anything. Are you going to bother warding? Well, no, I need another star for the warding focus. I've just finished doing the research for the water focus, so I know exactly what I need. And one of the things is another star. So I'm going to have to kill at least one. No? Isn't that how that works? Um. Well, I need another hmm. star somehow. Yeah, I guess. I, I can use the paving stones of warding, I suppose, but... Uh, Okay, Ewan, it looks like you've captured that brain in a jar thing and stuck it on this golem's face. On what face? The golem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also the eyes. Do you notice the eyes? Yeah. Might have some evil intent now. We're not sure. <laughs> That's what happens when you make an advanced golem. The advanced golem has a slightly better view range, moves a bit faster, carries a bit more. There's my hole for spawning with us. I do have a space for spawning with us because I spawned one a few days ago. That wasn't yesterday. That wasn't yesterday, it was. So I come out here, he goes boom. My import bus on the smelting factory is not working. Is two things. You set the output side correct on the smart factory. Two, is the auto eject turned on? Yes and yes. It started working as soon as it was done smelting.
with the auto eject turned on. Yes. Ah. Huh. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. The only reason I notice is because I sent something else to be smelted because I'm trying to make bronze. Um and it wasn't uh yeah. setting that up to be finished. In other news, I've killed that wither. Nice. Oh Yeah, I know, I know Nessa. That's kinda how it is though. Um I'm never too worried about it. People move on. Um, some people don't stick with Minecraft as long as others, and people move between different servers too. It's just, it is what it is. Things happen. Yep. Uh, what I need to do, well, I need to do that, and I need to do... Yeah, that's a bit of a sticky situation. That. Right. Ouch, I have fallen. And that makes it up to 14 hearts I have. I should have yeah, I'm not really wanting to discuss the whole situation, but at the end of the day, we can't be expected to let each person that we suspect of griefing explain the situation. And that's kind of what banning, at least temp banning, is supposed to be, is like, hey, we suspect you of something. Uh, email us and we'll accept your proof as to why or we'll start discussing it. And that's the best system I've seen so far. Because like if we just set you aside and give you an email about it or message you in game, then you'll end up with issues of people um, not ever responding to that. Yeah, your lasers aren't fully running either. Hmm? How are you doing getting how are you doing with those wind generators is that a question? I'm still working hmm? on the uh energy cube. Okay. It's just your lasers are running over here and they're not all running either. They're not what running? They're not all running. Oh. These ones aren't got enough power. Yeah, our main energy cube is out of power. Yeah, it probably is. I mean... Now that we've actually set it up properly to pull from there. Oh, well, hang on. I only did one level of it. I feel like I'm trying to put out so many fires at once. It's like we need to deal with the energy cube, we need to deal with the. Wind generators, and I'm trying to put this auto crafting stuff in the middle, and it's not helping. Well, the wind generators will help with everything because of more base production. Right, so should I focus on the energy cube or the wind generators? I would get the generators done first so you get some production up. Because we are at the limit of what this production can handle anyway. Okay, let's see. All these are currently empty. That's why the energy cubes. The energy cube's guaranteed to be empty if we, we're not putting as much in it as we come drawing out. Right. So. What is it I need for this recipe then? Two quartz, two order shards, two quicksilver, and two earth shards. Yes, yes, yes. Quartz. One, two. Silver one day. Two earth.
that, we have an encoded pattern for enriched alloy. Okay, and... Can I spell this right? Okay, so which... Things did we want? <laughs> 25 terra, 25 tutor, 25 order, 10 cognito. That's terra, tutor, order is done already. I got enough in there. Oh yeah, that's cool. Right. One one focus coming up. Oh wow, I haven't put the nether stones into the pair. Oh I don't have the quartz on. That's not going to work, is it? There it goes. Hmm. So I need to but put more carpenters in. But this one's basically full on channels. We're at 29 out of 32. I can fit one more carpenter okay. in, but this, uh, the windmill is going to take two more carpenters in the crafting recipe. Okay, so you're going to want to. We're going to need another line. Yeah. Where would you suggest I put it? Why not next to the first one? Define next to. No, like I get where I'm putting the carpenter. I'm saying we need to figure out where we're going to put another one of these dense cable lines for auto crafting. Yeah, just put it next to the first one. Where is next to? Like this empty spot next to it here. Above it? Behind it? Doesn't really matter. I'm confused. Let me just get my ward in focus and scan it. All the juicy aspects, thank you. Nice. Yeah, I can ward blocks now. Right. One, you could take out this and put another line above, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, and then you just drop the cable down at the end. And then expand it along this back wall. Yeah, when you need to. Okay. Why not? I mean, or you can make the room bigger if you want, can't you? Oh, uh, no, you can't because of the plants. Yeah, there are plants in that direction. That's actually a good question. How far back do I have? Because I've been needing a fair distance for each of these. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, you should be okay. Under... You can go under the plants, so you should have plenty of room. It's just uh, the cable right at the top you will have problems with. Right. Because well, I can drop the cable down here, or I can even run the cable itself behind these, as long as it's not yeah. blue or purple. So. Yep. Yeah. What yeah. am I needing? I mean, you know how Need all that bronze. works. So. Yeah. Just get another. Use another color. I did say you could go next to this green one. You could go mm -hmm. next behind on the green one. Then that gap above. 
But again, you want a different color. You know that. So that's right. easily done. So confused. It might be enough. It might be um, an idea to. The other thing might be an idea would be a peer to peer bus. This isn't crafting. Oh, I need water. Uh, mechanical pipe. Mechanical. Right, of mechanical pipes. Okay. Mechanical. You need another urn or anything to get the water from. I've got an urn down here. Oh, okay. It's down on floor. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just going to pull from that. I think that'll be easier. Yeah, that's fine. There's some other tanks and stuff I can do in Thorncraft now as well, not just the urns. There's a pump. Yeah, I can actually pump from a water source block. It's... Oh, nice. Well, why would I when I've got an urn that produces infinite water? <laughs> yeah, but still. Do I really want to put the greedy, uh, the thirsty tank above a water source block when I could just make him ever for low? Right, so what we're going to do is take that off. Grab my focus pouch. Let's see about upgrading my one focus. And we can upgrade it with some frugal. And then again, need some levels. Uh, turn that on. Okay, so it is. Oh, no power. Of course. That helps too. <laughs> it is three bronze and six redstone. That upgrade. So I'm just going to make this more efficient for my wand stuff. Warding. That allows me to change the key. Shall I put architect on it as well? They get different. Well, I didn't have size yet. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll probably put expand and architect on it as well. It's mostly food what I want. And this one. Okay, we can now craft. What are these? Advanced control circuits. Okay. But I can't expand yet. Yeah. Prepare for massive power drain. Have you told it to do it? Yeah, I told it to craft two. And like four machines lit up. <laughs> See, but that's the beauty of doing this. I don't have to walk around to each of those machines and tell them what to do. It just goes poof. You're ready. Well, yeah, that's the general idea. Oh, I no longer quite have enough of that. Well, I knew that was going to happen. I guess the most like complicated process of this is the bronze and the circuit boards that it has to make. They're kind of annoying. And they're needed for each of the control circuits. I can't see a thing. What do you mean, see a thing? Oh, uh... Ah, there go the XP orbs. I couldn't see. <laughs> Lots of XP orbs in front of my... Going. And now we oh. can craft elite control circuits. Okay. So yeah, when we get the more elite crafting factories, it'll be great. No, ultimate. 
the ultimate ones. Told it to craft two of those. Next step is I needed to be able to craft titanium. But I also need it to be able to craft these refined circuit boards. So I'm going to need some more bundled cable. <laughs> I'm going to go with you pink. We haven't done pink yet. Can I call out the rainbow room yet? <laughs> okay, so we've got red going down this way, and I need to pull pink. We can go from this side. Oh no, we can't pull pink from the side because you've got a universal cable going here. Um. Well, you could reroute the universal cable too. Yeah, it's just awkward. Because now we're going to be short on two of these power universal things. There we go. I need to upgrade my pickaxe. Oh, I've got to end soon. Dang it. Stupid work. Yeah. Yeah, so we, I've got to go soon as well. Just On the plus side, I only have a short shift today. Okay. Well, I will be home in like eight hours. Uh. I would probably still be close to going to sleep if not asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, it if I had an eight-hour shift today like I did yesterday, I would not be home until... Um, if I were leaving now, I wouldn't be home until midnight. It literally takes me an extra four hours to get there and back. Yeah, I didn't say it was... Which isn't fun. A... But I've only got a four-and-a-half-hour shift today, so... Yeah, I'm... Four hour commute time, silly. Yeah, I need to get a car or a bike or something that's going to make this easier. Okay, let's pull this cable through. Doesn't it's a lot better than US. it was. Hmm? Well, it doesn't have that in the US, it's very much shut up for. Everyone has a car. <laughs> it depends on the city, to be honest. Um, like in New York, yeah, it's really but... not. But here in Columbus, it definitely is. Well, yeah, but then New York was one of the older cities. Right. Of, to be fair, the center of New York. Same with a few other places. But generally, the U.S. is very much and did a lot of conversion as well on where they could on the what were the less populous cities at the time. So while California, while Los Angeles is one of the most populous cities and San Francisco is quite populous, they are very much set up now for car. Right. Everyone able to drive. They're not very, they're not great at it because of the number of cars, but. Yeah, and that's kind of the annoying part is not everybody needs a car. I just need to get to no. and from work and occasionally to the grocery store but even just walking down to the grocery store at the end of my street takes an hour yeah that's just what how because of how poor hour? our sidewalks are and it's like maybe a mile if that really crikey yeah because i end up having to go all the way through my town just to be on sidewalk or all the way through my town all the way through my neighborhood just to be on sidewalks so I have to go all the way down my street, you go round, then you're going back. around in a big circle. Yeah, I go backwards, then to the main street, then all the way down because the main street, then further down. So, 
so the thing we did here where that was happening is we would have a little alley between a couple of houses in this country. Right. No alleys here. At yeah. least where I live. They're and common uh, further in Columbus, but not here. Well, I, I'm living out in... I'm not living in the big heart of the main city. There's an alley up the road. I don't use it much because, quite frankly, it doesn't really take a whole lot off with where it is. Mm-hmm. Um, if I lived the road on the other side of the alley and I wanted to go to the local pub, I would use it, and that's about it. <laughs> right. Because... Otherwise, I would be going in the opposite direction anyway. But there is an alley there. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, get into the get into the big store. It's about half an hour. No, probably about an hour there and back. But it's a couple of miles away. But the local, the local small stores. I got one of fifteen minutes in each direction. Uh, my crafting uh, has hour, stalled on back. something. Okay, so my wonder warding, uh, my warding focus is now frugal five. So, use as little of the wand as possible. Oh, that would be why. 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.1. This is a collection of 129 mods. Yes. Mod pack called Regrowth. So 1.7.10 mod packs so are old as well. Yes. So what shall I make our box out of? Um, I don't know. We're currently having issues. I am unable to craft the cables I need to expand on this because I don't have the power to do the crafting apparently. What, you need another dense cable. Yeah, I need uh, like 50 more dense cable. And I told it to craft them, and it's just sitting here in this CPU over here, not doing anything. I needed to put sand in the smelting factory. It won't do it. Well, you have... 70 scheduled, but that's fine. And it's only letting me take 56 items out at once. I'm just going to put the sand yeah. in the smelting factory. Well, and... I've cancelled the craft as well for now. Okay. Just get some power back. But yeah, we, we we know there are power issues at the moment. We, we, we do know this. <sighs> yeah. If you could just manually make a wind turbine be honest. Uh, it's the boring way. Well, no. It's, I'm not saying we don't still automate it. I'm just saying we get that a bit faster. <laughs> oh, and I've lost all power. And I've got power. Yeah, because now I'm manually making the cables and it's causing freezing. I was putting stuff in at that point as well. Okay, there's that's... that. I know I have more wool than that system. I know I have more cables than that. See, this is the annoying part of it, is it says that I've run out of something that I know I have more of. Because it doesn't have the power to pull more of them out. Okay, there's that. And I want to make you into dense cables. Uh, You know, I'm really enjoying my job. 
I'm just not enjoying full time at this point. Same of. And do we. Can we just get a couple of wind generators by hand now? Right. Um, wind generator. I've got a couple of bits in my inventory. Though. All I need is sheets of titanium. Two sheets. Okay. Just go and make a couple of sheets of titanium. <laughs> Hold on. I have a rolling machine below me. There. I'm crafting the sheets of titanium. Yay. <laughs> ah, do you want to get the cable laid out and we'll place it? Well, it needs to go up in the air, so I was going to do it on a... <laughs> yeah, I know, but we're going to need cables for it. Yeah, that's fine. That's as much cable as I have at the moment, so. There, I have two wind generators. Okay, so now we just need to get up in the air somehow. Blocks, 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 blocks. blocks. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh. I don't know where you are. I'm in front of the crafting area. I was getting some blocks. You have enough cable to get up there? Uh, I... Do you uh, do want to pass me the generators, actually? I'm probably not going to go as hard as we want them, but I just want this working at the moment. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Hold on. That worked. Hold on, yeah. you've forgotten one. I know you. Oh, I've done it. What did you do? I got stuck on the cable. Ah. Ah. Hello. Hello. What happened now? I clicked another channel by accident. Ha. Ah. Yeah, I, I got stuck a second time, by the way. How high am I? I'm not at near world height yet, but you know. We're going to need some way up and down here. Did I make another one of those levitators? Maybe. Well, a big bunch of them to get up this high, but you know. Oh, wow, I should have gone up one more. Never mind. I should have gone up one more thinking about it. Oh, wait, I forgot about that. Uh, how are you just being annoying? Should I got my ring on me. Wait, 
very confused as to what you're doing. Uh, I have a problem with the direction it places them in at the moment. Let's see. There we go. Well, that's another 190, a uh, couple of hundred hour after tech, but we do need to go higher. But I ran out of cable. <laughs> Still not getting any buffer, sadly. Uh, are we? Am I feeding into the buffer? Or are we bypassing it? Um, should be both. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's working either. But like, it's coming out of both sides. And it's not buffering in front of the system either. Oh my. Ready to die? Oh, you had yeah. to do it that way. Dang it. <laughs> that, I've, I've got further forward on my boots. I probably, um, I've got 14 extra hearts. I would probably survive it anyway. Well, that's mean. Yeah. You're lucky I don't have my bag on me, um, because my bag's got my broom in it, you know, I could just <laughs> get out there quite easily. I could get back up there quite easily in a minute, can't I? Yeah, I reckon this buffer would fill up before that one if anything, but probably not. But I am putting a whole thing in, so cable. Well, on that note, I've got to call it here because I've got to leave for work in half an hour. Okay. Uh... Hmm. I'm just making more cable. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some Heavens of Sorcery. Have a nice night, and I will see yes. you then. Oh, with Heavens of Sorcery, mm -hmm. uh, can you update Arcane World mod from the actual public Curse Forge page for it. Yep, and then I still have to do the yes. actual update. That is the plan for tonight. So, Okay, do the update first, then pull Arcane World from the public page. Yep, we will do. Have a I nice will, night. I'll make sure I to will, get that done. I will do the same into my client because uh, I've got the test version. It shouldn't be all that different for the he released and stuff and set up all the um, version numbers and stuff. So. Okay, got it.